Have you ever wondered why some people pretend to be sick when they are not? Or why they would go to great lengths to appear ill? It's a perplexing question, isn't it? This is where we come across the concept of factitious disorder. Factitious disorder, often shrouded in mystery, is a mental health condition where individuals consciously and deliberately act as if they have physical or mental illness when they are not really sick. They are not feigning illness for tangible benefits such as financial gain or avoiding responsibility. Instead, they do it to assume the sick role, to receive attention, care, sympathy, or to be the focal point of others' concern. It's an intricate and complex disorder, often challenging to understand, diagnose and treat. So buckle up as we unravel this enigma, shedding light on its characteristics, causes, symptoms and potential treatments. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's dive deeper into this baffling condition. So how does one diagnose factitious disorder? When it comes to diagnosing factitious disorder, we turn to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition text revision, better known as the DSM-5-TR. This is a manual that mental health professionals use as a guide to diagnose mental disorders. The DSM-5-TR provides us with a specific set of criteria for diagnosing factitious disorder, and it's quite fascinating. The first criterion is that the individual must be found to be falsifying physical or psychological signs or symptoms. This means they are intentionally producing, feigning or exaggerating symptoms, either in themselves or in someone else, without any apparent external reward. An example could be a person who injects themselves with a harmful substance to produce a fever, then presents themselves at a hospital claiming to be ill, but without any clear reason for doing so. It's not for financial gain or to avoid work or legal responsibilities. The second criterion is that the individual must be presenting themselves as ill, impaired or injured. This isn't just about pretending to have a specific illness or injury, but about adopting the sick role, the persona of a person who is seriously unwell or injured. The third and final criterion is perhaps the most intriguing. The deceptive behavior must be evident even in the absence of external rewards. This means that the person continues to engage in this behavior even when there's no obvious benefit to them like financial gain or avoiding responsibilities. They simply do it because they feel compelled to, for reasons that are often complex and deeply rooted in their psyche. As you can see, diagnosing factitious disorder isn't as simple as ticking off a checklist. It requires careful observation, thorough medical and psychological evaluations, and a deep understanding of the person's history and behavior. And it's essential to remember that these criteria are a guide, not a strict rule book. Each person is unique and their experiences and behaviors can vary widely. It's not as straightforward as it seems, is it? What causes someone to go to such extreme measures to pretend to be ill? This intriguing question takes us to the heart of our discussion on the causes of factitious disorder. Like many psychological conditions, factitious disorder doesn't have a single identifiable cause. Instead, it's often the result of a complex interplay of psychological, biological and environmental factors. Firstly, a history of abuse or neglect during childhood can significantly contribute to the development of factitious disorder. This distressing past might lead individuals to seek attention and care in unconventional ways, such as feigning illness. Secondly, a profound need to be seen as ill or injured is another potential cause. This need often stems from a desire for sympathy, attention or even control. By adopting the sick role, individuals can elicit concern and care from others, fulfilling their emotional needs. Thirdly, the desire to feel in control is a powerful motivator. When life feels chaotic or overwhelming, pretending to be ill can provide a sense of stability and predictability. The medical environment, with its routines and procedures, can offer a refuge from the uncertainties of everyday life. Interestingly, factitious disorder is often associated with personality disorders, specifically borderline and narcissistic personality disorders. This connection might be due to shared characteristics like impulsivity, a poor sense of self-identity and an intense fear of abandonment. However, it's important to remember that these potential causes are not definitive. They don't apply to everyone with factitious disorder and having these experiences or traits doesn't guarantee that someone will develop the disorder. 
Ultimately, factitious disorder is a deeply complex and multifaceted condition. Its causes are, are as varied and unique as the individuals who struggle with it. More research is needed to fully understand this disorder and to find effective ways to prevent and treat it. While the causes are complex and varied, they all point to deep-seated emotional issues. As we delve deeper into this perplexing condition, let's remember that understanding is the first step towards compassion and effective intervention. How does factitious disorder manifest and what can be done about it? Factitious disorder, often clouded in mystery, can be quite puzzling due to the wide array of symptoms it presents. These symptoms often mimic those of other medical or psychological conditions, making it a challenge to diagnose accurately. One of the most common signs is a dramatic but inconsistent medical history. Individuals with factitious disorder often have a lengthy medical history filled with varied and puzzling symptoms that don't quite fit any disease pattern. They may report symptoms that seem physically impossible or highly unlikely. For example, they might claim to have a headache that switches sides or a fever that comes and goes at precise times. These symptoms are often vague and do not respond to standard therapies, adding to the enigma. Another significant symptom is the individual's eagerness to undergo invasive procedures. They may willingly submit themselves to painful, risky and unnecessary tests and operations to keep the narrative of their illness alive. This readiness to be subjected to potentially harmful procedures is a telltale sign of factitious disorder. Now, let's shift our focus to the other side of the coin, treatment. Addressing factitious disorder requires a comprehensive, multi-dimensional approach. It's not just about treating the symptoms, it's about understanding the root cause and addressing the underlying issues. Psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy, is often the first line of treatment. It provides a safe space for individuals to explore their feelings and understand the motivations behind their actions. Cognitive behavioral therapy, a form of psychotherapy, can be particularly effective. It helps individuals identify unhealthy negative beliefs and behaviors and replace them with healthier ones. Family therapy can also play an essential role in the treatment process. It aids in improving communication within the family, fostering understanding and providing support to the individual battling the disorder. It's crucial to remember that recovery cannot occur in isolation. The support of loved ones can make a world of difference in the healing journey. In some cases, medication may be used as part of the treatment plan. However, it's worth noting that there are no specific drugs to treat factitious disorder. Medications are often used to address co-occurring conditions such as depression or anxiety. Treatment of factitious disorder can indeed be challenging. It requires patience, empathy and a deep understanding of the complexities of the human mind. It's a journey, often a long and winding one. But with the right approach, individuals suffering from factitious disorder can move beyond their self-destructive patterns. They can learn healthier ways to cope with stress and emotional pain, ultimately leading more fulfilling lives. Treatment can be challenging, but with the right approach, individuals suffering from this disorder can lead healthier lives. Want to learn more about intriguing psychological conditions like factitious disorder? Well, let me introduce you to SciEdu Insights, your one-stop platform for all things psychology. Our mission is to provide insightful and accessible information about various psychological disorders, aiming to shed light on the intricacies of the human mind. At SciEdu Insights, we believe knowledge is empowering. Our platform is filled with comprehensive resources that cater to curious minds like yours. Whether you're a psychology student, a professional in the field, or simply an interested party, SciEdu Insights has something for you. Our extensive library of resources includes articles, videos, podcasts, and even interactive quizzes, all designed to make learning about psychology engaging and relatable. We delve into the complexities of various psychological disorders, from well-known conditions like depression and anxiety to lesser-known ones like factitious disorder. Each resource is meticulously crafted to present information in a way that's easy to understand, yet deeply informative. We aim to bridge the gap between complex psychological theories and everyday understanding. Moreover, we understand the importance of staying updated in this ever-evolving field. That's why we constantly update our resources, ensuring you have access to the latest research and findings in the world of psychology. But SciEdu Insights isn't just about learning. It's about creating a community of individuals who share a common interest in understanding the human mind. 
we encourage discussions, debates and shared learning experiences, fostering a sense of camaraderie amongst our users. So if you've ever found yourself intrigued by the workings of the human mind, or if you're looking to deepen your understanding of psychological disorders, Syedu Insights is the place for you. Join us at Syedu Insights for more in-depth exploration of the human mind. Remember, understanding is the first step towards empathy and help. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content.